If I could go back in time and implement some exercises in my routine, this would be it. I regret not trying these 10 exercises sooner. Welcome back to our channel. Today, I'm sharing the 10 exercises that transformed my training and delivered results I wish I had discovered sooner. Let's go. First up, we have the Kettlebell Turkish Get Up. This exercise is all about full body stability, strength, and coordination. Start by lying on your back with a kettlebell in your right hand, arm extended towards the ceiling. Bend your right knee, keeping your left leg straight. Using your core, roll onto your left elbow, then push yourself up onto your left hand while keeping your eyes on the kettlebell. From here, lift your hips off the ground, slide your left leg underneath you, and get into a kneeling position. Finally, stand up with the kettlebell still overhead. The Turkish Get Up engages nearly every muscle in your body. Perform three sets of three reps per side. Here's a fact. Functional movements mimic real-life activities, improving your overall strength and movement efficiency for daily tasks, sports, and other physical activities. Next, we have the Trap Bar Deadlift. Step inside a trap bar, positioning your feet shoulder width apart. Bend at your hips and knees to grab the handles, keeping your chest up and your back straight. Engage your core and drive through your heels to lift the bar off the floor, coming up to a standing position. Lower the trap bar back down with control. The trap bar deadlift is a great alternative to the traditional deadlift as it reduces the stress on your lower back and is easier on the knees, making it ideal for beginners and advanced lifters alike. It primarily targets your glutes, hamstrings, quads, and lower back. Perform three sets of eight to 10 reps. Did you know? Compound exercises engage multiple muscle groups simultaneously, allowing for full body activation and making workouts more efficient. Now, we're moving on to the pistol squat with chair. Stand in front of a chair with your feet hip width apart. Extend your left leg out in front of you while keeping your right foot planted. Lower yourself down into a single leg squat until your glutes lightly touch the chair, then press through your right heel to stand back up explosively. Keep your chest up and your core engaged throughout the movement. Pistol squats are excellent for developing unilateral leg strength, balance, and flexibility. Using a chair helps with stability, allowing you to focus on building the necessary strength and control before advancing to a full pistol squat. Perform three sets of five to six reps per leg. Fun fact. Many of these exercises require core stabilization, which helps improve balance, supports your spine, and contributes to better posture. Next up is the Landmine Kneeling Thruster Press. Kneel on the ground with your feet under you and the end of a landmine barbell in front of your chest, holding it with both hands. From a seated kneeling position, push off the ground using the power from your hips, transitioning into a high kneeling position while pressing the barbell overhead in one explosive motion. Lower the barbell back down with control and repeat. The landmine kneeling thruster press is a powerful move that builds explosive power through the hips and shoulders while also engaging your core. It's a great way to work on your pressing strength and lower body coordination simultaneously. Perform three sets of eight to 10 reps. Check this out. Movements that require balance, like pistol squats or Turkish get-ups, help improve coordination, stabilizing muscles, and neuromuscular control. Now, we have the Dumbbell Cossack Squat. Stand with your feet wider than shoulder width apart, holding a dumbbell in each hand. Shift your weight to your right leg, bending your right knee while keeping your left leg straight. Lower yourself into a lateral squat, keeping your chest up and core engaged. Push through your right heel to return to the center, then repeat on the left side. The Cossack Squat is a great exercise for improving hip mobility, leg strength, and balance. It targets your quads, glutes, adductors, and hamstrings, while also stretching the inner thigh muscles, 
making it an excellent functional movement. Perform three sets of eight to 10 reps per side. Here's something interesting. Dynamic exercises help enhance hip, knee, and shoulder mobility, making it easier to move through the full range of motion during workouts. Next is the cable standing face pull. Stand facing a cable machine set at head height with a rope attachment. Grab the rope with an overhand grip. Step back slightly and engage your core. Pull the rope towards your face, keeping your elbows high and flaring out to the sides. Focus on squeezing your shoulder blades together at the end of the movement, then slowly return to the starting position. Face pulls are one of the best exercises for improving shoulder health, posture, and developing the rear delts and traps. They help counteract the forward shoulder posture that many of us develop from sitting too much. Perform three sets of 12 to 15 reps, focusing on a controlled motion. Did you know? Movements like farmer's walks and jump box exercises elevate your heart rate, providing a cardiovascular boost while simultaneously building strength. Now, we're moving on to the dumbbell when arm snatch. Stand with your feet shoulder width apart and a dumbbell on the floor between your legs. Squat down to grab the dumbbell with your right hand, keeping your chest up and back straight. Drive through your legs and thrust your hips forward as you pull the dumbbell up towards your shoulder then quickly extend your arm overhead in one explosive movement. Lower the dumbbell back down with control and repeat. The one-arm dumbbell snatch is an explosive power movement that targets your shoulders, traps, legs, and core. It helps improve coordination, power, and full body strength. Perform three sets of six to eight reps per side. Here's a great benefit, carrying exercises like farmer's walks, challenge your grip strength, which is essential for many other exercises and everyday activities. Next up is the assisted inverse leg curl. Kneel on the ground with a partner holding your ankles securely. Slowly lower your body forward, using your hamstrings to control the descent. Once you reach the bottom, push yourself back up explosively with your arms to return to the starting position. Assisted inverse leg curls are fantastic for building hamstring strength and explosiveness, helping to reduce the risk of injury and improve overall lower body performance. They also help in targeting the hamstrings more effectively than traditional leg curls. Perform three sets of six to eight reps, focusing on a slow, controlled descent and an explosive push back up. Avoid excessively jerking your body off the floor. Check this out. Incorporating movements like the trap bar deadlift and one arm snatch activates both large and small muscle fibers, which stimulates hypertrophy. Now, we have the farmer's walk. Grab a dumbbell in each hand and stand tall with your feet hip width apart. Brace your core and walk forward, keeping your shoulders back and your chest up. Make sure to take controlled steps and keep a steady pace. The farmer's walk is a highly functional movement that works your grip for arms, traps, core, and even your legs. It helps improve overall stability, posture, and functional strength, making it a great addition to any workout routine. Perform three sets of 45 seconds, focusing on maintaining proper posture and keeping your core engaged throughout the walk. Avoid slouching your shoulders forward or losing tension in your core. Fun fact, strengthening stabilizer muscles, particularly around your joints, reduces the likelihood of injuries, making these exercises valuable for staying injury free. Finally, we have the jump box. Stand in front of a sturdy box or platform with your feet hip width apart. Lower yourself into a partial squat, then explode upwards, jumping onto the box. Land softly with both feet fully on the box, then stand up straight. Step or jump back down and repeat. Box jumps are a great plyometric exercise that improves explosive power, agility, and coordination, while also engaging your quads, glutes, calves, and core. This movement helps build lower body strength and is great for improving athletic performance. Perform three sets of eight to 10 reps, focusing on jumping as high as possible. Congratulations for completing today's workout by adding these to your workout routine. 
will not only boost your overall strength, but also improve mobility, coordination, and explosiveness. For best results long term, I challenge you to complete this workout three to four times a week for the next few weeks. Remember, it's about quality over quantity. Focus on form and keep challenging yourself. Thanks for joining us today. If you enjoyed today's workout, please don't forget to like this video, subscribe to our channel, hit the notification bell, and share this video with friends and family who may benefit from this workout. See you in the next video, tomorrow at 8 p.m. UK time. Want serious muscle gains? Watch this now.